What is up you guys, Matt from My Process, and guys, today um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, the whole topic of just like what truly, you know, truly makes you happy, you know, in your life and how, you know, I've really applied that in my life and I actually want to tell you a story about how that lesson really applied to my life and stuff. So, um, so I guess, I don't know if you knew uh, from like my Instagram stories and whatnot, um, definitely check out my Instagram if you do not follow it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have been checking out my Instagram stories, but I have been posting, you know, just content. I was actually in, uh, I was actually in Boston, um, I think uh, yeah, about two weeks ago, um, you know, just doing some college visits and stuff because there's a lot of colleges up in the north that, you know, that I'm really, really interested because, you know, um, I'm going to college in about, you know, a year and a half or so. So I'm just like, you know, starting to look at different places that, um, I may be interested in and whatnot, um, and 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 I actually went like during spring break and stuff like that. So you know that this was about this was around two weeks ago, um, and two weeks ago was actually um, was actually Easter break, right? Easter break and 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 Easter actually fell on the same week as uh, my spring break, right? So I don't know if you guys know, but like in the Christian religion, you know, there's you know there's Holy Thursday, Good Friday, um, you know, and then on Saturday you can go to something called the Easter Vigil, which is like the midnight mass that you can go to and then you have Easter on Sunday um, and stuff and that's like a whole week thing and you're supposed to go to you know church uh, you know on every single one of those days and stuff like that obviously I don't know um, about you know all the denominations in the Christian religion but I know just for my denomination that you know we you know it's it's pretty typical to go to go to church every day on um, on all those days you know leading up to Easter and stuff um, and I think it was um, it was Good Friday, right? And we were in Boston, and we've never been to Boston before, like me or, or any anyone in my family. So, you know, and we didn't really know if, you know, we didn't really know any churches that were around Boston that we knew of and whatnot. We were trying to find, we were trying to find churches and stuff like that. You know, so we finally find a church, like, online or whatever, you know, we got, got, church has great reviews and stuff like that. So we're like, okay, you know, sure, let's go to this. Um, but I don't know if you guys know, but Boston is actually like a really, really cold city. And I also don't know if you guys know, but I, I live in Florida. So like in Florida is, you know, really, really warm. Like it's almost always hot. Like it barely ever gets, you know, under, under 60 degrees like the entire year and stuff. Like it's a very hot, um, you know, in state and stuff like that. So me trying to, you know, like adapt to the weather, I, I wasn't really adapting pretty well. So like my head just started to really, really hurt. And like, you know, I just started to get like really, really sick throughout this entire trip, especially with, you know, being on all these college visits and always, you know, moving around and stuff like that, especially, you know, it being like 30 degrees outside, you know, and me being from Florida, like I wasn't used to this at all. You know, so like throughout this entire day, I was just like really, really sick and I had just gotten back from a, from a college tour. We had found this church, but you know, I really, really was not feeling it. Like I really did not want to go at all because like, I just like did not feel good at all and I didn't want to spread my you know sickness to others and whatnot and you know everyone you know knew that I was sick and stuff like that so we were like okay we can just go back to the hotel but I don't know I just had this feeling you know inside of me that I was like you know like you know why not like it's, it's Good Friday like this is the day that you know Jesus died and stuff like that this is a very very important day in the you know Christian religion like you know it's okay if like I'm a little sick like I'll make sure to you know, not get anyone else sick, like, you know, I'll go to church, you know what I'm saying, like, I really, you know, I feel like I needed to go to church, you know, I don't know why I had that feeling, but I just felt like I needed to, you know, so, so I ended up sleeping, um, on the Uber ride to the church and whatnot, and I, uh, and, you know, so we get there, and I wake up, and, like, I just feel, like, as if I'm 100% better, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I just feel like, you know, I feel so, you know, healthy, you know, so alive, so awake, like, I'm so ready to have, like, you know, a great time at church, and I wasn't even worrying about how cold I was, anything, I wasn't worrying about anything except for, like, you know, going to church, you know, like, having an amazing time, I just felt, like, so amazing, right, so, you know, we walk into church, like, I'm feeling great and whatnot, we sit down, um, and it, it was an absolutely amazing service, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, great homily, um, you know, it was really, really great lesson and whatnot, but, you know, where it really, you know, where the story really starts getting interesting is after church, the leader of the church or the pastor, he, you know, says like, hey, you know, guys, you know, we're doing um, something called confessions where, you know, you can basically, you know, confess your sins to God and, you know, it will be forgiven and, and you know, he'll forgive you for your sins and, and whatnot. Um, and usually, you know, I, I don't really like doing confessions because, you know, I don't know, it just makes me feel, makes me just feel bad for, like, the sins that I've had in my life and whatnot. I don't know, it just doesn't make me feel good after. Um, but I don't know, I just had this feeling 
that, you know, I really, really need to do, like, confessions. Like, I don't know, it was really weird, like, I don't know if it was because, you know, I still had maybe a little sickness back in the head, I don't know, or, you know, I just felt really, really empowered to want to, like, do confessions. And, and, you know, like I said, like, a confession is something where you basically just um, confess your sins to, you know, the priest, and you basically pray to God to forgive you, you know, for your sins and whatnot. Um, so, you know, I... I'm waiting to go up, um, you know, for confessions and stuff like that. I'm just, like, praying to God to help me, you know, um, like, with my confessions and have it go well and whatnot. Because I, I don't know why. I was, like, really nervous about it. Um, so I go up to the priest. Um, you know, I, I sit down. And I, you know, take a pause or whatever. And then I, uh, and then I say, I say my confessions or whatever. And then, you know, I'm, I'm going through all my confessions. And at the end of it, I was just like, I, I know, you know, like, you know, I know these, you know, confessions are obviously, you know, these are sins and stuff that I should not be doing. But I know, you know, deep down in my heart that I am a good person and that, you know, I'm, I'm doing good in my life. So the pastor really, you know, led me, you know, through this. And he, he was talking to me about, you know, how, how young I am and how, you know, how much... And how young I am, and how 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 great of a future I I can have ahead of me if I you know make that change in my life. If I you know turn away from the sin and turn away from you know all the bad in the world and turn to the good and turn to positivity and stuff. Um, and you know he was like you know you still have the potential to be you know a saint in your life. You know like you uh, you know you're so young and you know you're so young right now and you have so much potential in your life to to make a change in your life. You know so at this point I was just like so. You know, amazed, and I, I really felt really empowered and stuff. But he said one thing that I know will stick with me for the rest of my life, and I, I hope you know you guys can add value from from this as well. But um, he said this to me, and you know he said it with just such a calm voice and with such clarity and stuff. You know I, that I fully, fully understand it. He said to me, he was like, the only thing that will truly make you happy in life is that which is willed by God. I would be. He said. The only thing that will truly make you happy in life is that which is willed by God. And, you know, right when he said that, I just felt like complete enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was so, you know, pure, like so, um, you know, cleansed and just like, you know, just clean. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, like that feeling that you get like after you wash your face in the morning, just like, Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, just, like, cleansed and enlightened. And, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Just, like, a really amazing feeling in my heart. As if, like, you know, I knew that I could look back on, on what he just said in every single moment in my entire life. Like, any time that I, you know, want to do sin or want to do wrong in my life, like, I know that, you know, I'll look back on this one moment, look back on what, you know, he said to me um, and how it applies to my life and, and stuff like that. So, you know, basically, you know, the lesson that I got from this... Um, you know, obviously, God is just so amazing in so many different ways. You know, you know, whether you believe in God or not, God is just so good in my life, and he, you know, he works in so many amazing different ways. You know, but like, but really, like, you know, the big lesson that you know I got from this, and, and what and what that uh, and what that priest said to me, um, is basically just like the difference between you know the temporary happinesses in your life and you know the permanent happinesses in your life. You know, the temporary happiness being like doing just basically bad things that you know temporarily give you that satisfaction, like give you that you know that get yeah, that you know feeling of hype and that you know that adrenaline in your heart or whatever. But then like you know the next day like you're automatically regretting it or like you're automatically like you know just like like guilting yourself for doing it. Like you're asking yourself like oh my god like why did I do that. Um, like, but like in the moment you're like, oh my God, this is, feels great. Like I'm so happy I'm doing this, but you know, it's temporary because it's not something that is willed by God. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, and, and how, how that applies is like, you know, if you think about it in your life, the only things that truly make you happy is that which, you know, is, is willed by God, that in which is permanent in its ways. So, you know, for example, like making an impact in somebody's life, like that is something that is permanent, like something that is, that's a feeling that someone could never take away from you for the rest of your life. Like even though it may be, you know, a little painful in the beginning or it may be, you know, hard in the beginning to do, um, you know, if it is truly willed by God, if it is truly something that is permanent in your life, you know, that happiness, um, you know, even though there may be a little pain in the beginning, no matter what it is, that happiness is something that will be permanent for the rest of your life. And, and those are the things that will truly make you happy in life and not the things that are, you know, that are temporary, like, 
you know, like I said, like going out with your friends or any any dollar amount at all, you know what I'm saying? Like all these little things are so temporary. Even though it may be what you think will make you happy, it may not be what will truly impact you in your life and it may not be the thing that will truly make you happy, you know, for the rest of your life. And you can look at anyone, you can look at any successful person and they'll tell you that, you know, money is not the thing that makes them happy. You know, it's the impact that they have on the others. It's the impact that they have on the world. You know, being able to serve others, like those are the things that will truly make you happy. It will truly make, you know, anyone happy in, the, in their lives. Um, you know what I'm saying? Nothing that is, you know, temporary, nothing that is not willed by God will make you happy, you know, in the long run. So guys, like, ask yourself, like, is what I'm about to do, is this something that will positively affect my life, or is this something that will negatively affect my life? Is what I'm about to do, is this about to let me be happy for five, ten minutes, or, you know, a night, or, you know, a day, or whatever, and then, you know, I'll, I'll feel regret for the rest of my life, or is this something that will truly, you know, make me happy, um, and, you know, I'll be happy, uh, you know, not only in the moment, but also, you know, moving forward in my life as well. And is this something that will truly, you know, put me in the right direction or put me in the wrong direction of, you know, of, of tr pursuing my dreams and, and making my dreams into a reality and hopefully becoming successful in my life? Like, you have to make that executive decision in your life if you truly want to see, you know, a change, if you truly want to be, you know, eternally happy in your life and not feel regret at the end of your life. Um, you know, saying so like these are the you know, the questions that you really have to ask yourself in any single and any you know decision that you make in your life. Like, is this something that will permanently make me happy, or, or something that is just simply temporary? Make that decision and then make the change in your life. If you can truly put this you know into your life, like you know, I I just put into my life. Like I I know that you will see the change in your just overall attitude on how you look at you know the world and how you look at. Um, you know, different things that will make you happy and how you look at, you know, the, like, you know, choosing between good and choosing between bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, just understand that, you know, anything bad will ultimately, even though it may seem good in the beginning, it may, you know, give you that, that temporary happiness, it will ultimately lead you down the wrong path, lead you on the path that is not willed by God. But the things that are permanent in, in your life, you know, like I said, it may, it may be painful in the beginning, it may be hard to see in the beginning that it will be good, but in the long run, like it, it will make you eternally happy, and 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 it will lead you in the right direction on that is willed by God. Um. So yeah, guys, that is you know the lesson that I really learned, um, from that whole experience, and you know it's absolutely amazing how how God works in in, you know, in my life and stuff like that. And but guys, like I hope you know you got some value out of this, and just understand that you know it's all about what makes you happy in the long run, not the things that will make you happy in the short term and will ultimately make you sad in the long term. It's all about, you know, that permanent happiness in your life and um, that is only, that is something that no party, no, you know, no bad influence, no drug, no alcohol, you know what I'm saying, could, can give you that happiness, um, you know, that that permanent happiness that you can feel for the rest of your life. So yeah, guys, I just want to say have, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for following my journey and I hope you guys um, you know, continue to get some value out of my videos and out of, you know, my entire, um, my entire journey. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and just keep loving the process and I will see you guys later. Bye.